This video is presented by EA Game Changers and a massive thanks to them for allowing me to take part in an Anthem Early Access Capture event. I had one amazing day, thanks again. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Anthem video and today guys we have more Anthem gameplay and today we meet the Scar and take part in the Scar Presence mission. This is a faction mission, in return you level up this faction and again unlock blueprints. But before we get into the video guys, I am giving away a few full copies of Anthem to be in with a chance of winning one. Simply make sure you are subscribed to this channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details in the video description. If you guys have already pre-ordered but would still like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and Anthem videos are what you want to see, be sure to subscribe as I have many, many more exclusive Anthem videos to come which you will not want to miss. Okay, so within Anthem there are three factions in which you can level up your loyalty with. One way to do so is complete missions for them. Today I bring you gameplay of the Mission Scar Presence, a mission given to me by the Sentinels one of the three factions, completing activities for the Sentinel increased vault size and many other things which we will get into with this brief description of the Sentinels and what they offer you. Complete activities that aid Sentinels in their duties. Space is at a premium but Sentinels control the fort and helping them means you'll see Sentinel sponsored artworks appear and a med bay for non-lancers. The lower two rewards the Sentinels reward you, uncommon iconic component blueprints, rare iconic component blueprints and epic iconic component blueprints. You can also see the progression bar. Reach that score, get those rewards. Awesome. So this Scar Presence mission, let's check out the briefing. Sentinel Bruin has heard about an unusual level of Scar activity at the Arsonist base. Investigate for her. So going into this mission, my loadout was as follows with the Interceptor. Weapon wise, I am using two, the Relentless Light Machine Gun, and for the first time, I'm also using a newly unlocked shotgun called the Vengeance, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. Now watching Anthem streams, I really didn't see much of shotgun action, so I wasn't sure about them. I just threw on to test the waters. But let me tell you people, they do feel absolutely great, and they do crack one serious punch at close range. Both weapons are common weapons, and they're literally weapons you get <laughs> from the very start of the game. Overload at Arsenal, I have the Plasma Star, a powerfully charged throwing star that marks through armors. These you can throw four times per charge of this ability, and they really do tear shit apart, people. I'm also using the Venom Bomb. Throw on bomb detonates target area in acid for five seconds. I've said this previously, it doesn't really do much damage as a solo actual weapon, but when used as a starter method for a combo, you see those damage numbers do stack up, which is pretty cool. And my super which I use is just absolutely epic guys and you'll see me use that later on in the video. Let me just tell you one thing about it though, shit gets absolutely slayed. I absolutely love it. Also the supers do regen your shield and health which is great for getting out those crazy situations where you're trapped or you're taking cover because you're really low health. So that's cool too. But guys, I think I'm going to leave you to watch this gameplay unspoiled. Guys, stay tuned though, as I have many, many more exclusive Anthem videos to come. Many other gameplay missions of me using all kinds of loadouts with all different javelin suits and much, much more. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. And if you are new around here and enjoy those Anthem videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, guys, if you have any questions you want answering, hit me up on Twitter at DPJSC08, or you can hit me up on my Facebook page or even my Discord. All are linked within the video description. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully, I will see you on that next one. We've seen scars gather in an area not far from you. Check there. You got it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. This is more scar activity than I've seen in a long time. I found no one else unnoticed. They're everywhere lately. They're not even people. Just gross, monster things ruining stuff wherever they go. Tell me how you really feel, Brett. Freelancer, this is where the scars have been gathered. Got it. 
I'll look around for our missing archers machinery. And for whatever else they might have been working on. Watch out for stars while you're at it. Broken shaper bits. Nothing from the Arcanists. Keep looking. here somewhere. Arcanist equipment here either. Okay, well, if you don't see anything Arcanist y, they probably caught it hidden. So I should look for some kind of scar shed? Uh, sure. How about a scar cave instead of a scar shed? I can work with it. Well, there's one near you. Good place to hide stolen machinery. I'll find it and head in. I would hope so, yes. Cars are hiding stuff
scars. We're not done yet. Shiny shield. 
Nexus. Were those scars deliberately trying to force a Shaper artifact to create scorpions? Maybe? That's so strange. They normally just scavenge. I'll put it in my report, and, um... <clears throat> Thank you, Freelancer. This was a huge help to the Sentinels and to the Fort. Nice working with you, too. Yes, well, maybe we'll work together again sometime. Maybe. See you around, Freelancer.